Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're cooking in the barracks. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, so we've already started cooking. I have my roommate fully over here. So today we are going to be doing some um, steak and pork tacos. We've got the, the steak cooking over here. We've already got some cilantro lime rice made up and we're gonna do some corn for For a single soldier living in the barracks, cooking isn't something that you should really be doing. It's not the financially wise thing. You probably have a meal card. You should be eating at the defect. That's what you should be doing. Me and my roommate, we are currently on rotation in Korea, so eating at the defect isn't something that we're used to. We both, back in the States, we get BAS, and we're used to being able to cook our own food at our at my, my own house. He lives in the barracks, but he gets um, BAS anyways, so he's able to, to cook. So this is what we're used to doing. So part of this cooking today, I want to point out um, kind of the, the problems with cooking in Korea and then we'll just have a, a fun meal anyway. Um, but to start, we need to show you the kitchen. First kind of big problem is just the size of the kitchen. So for two of us to be able to come in here and cook together, there's not a whole lot of room for us to both be working side by side. You don't have a full size oven there. Um, the stoves, the burners are all really small, really close together. Everything is just very compact and there's not a whole lot of room. Back in the States, I have all of the kitchen utensils, um, all the cool gadgets that you could possibly want. Out here in the barracks, when we're only here for nine months, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for us to go buy all of that stuff that we're not gonna be able to bring back home with us. So you cook on very limited resources and GoPros falling off of your coffee pots. And then just not, uh, not much space to get everything done. Another huge problem cooking in Korea is the expense of everything. So like I said, we're making some burritos tonight. I wanted to make some cilantro lime uh, rice like I, I showed you, I already cooked that up already. Back in the States, we're stationed at Fort Bliss in El Paso, Texas. I'm used to a bundle of cilantro cost me 88 cents at Walmart. Out here in Korea, the same bundle, maybe even a little bit smaller, is $3.29, so everything is significantly marked up. So when you go to cook any meal, it's gonna cost you a whole lot more money here than it does back home. So we're gonna continue on cooking, and I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. All right, so for the steak that we're doing here, we have uh, just some strips of beef. Now this isn't actually the heat of meat, kind of like what I wanted. This was being in Korea, this was stir-fried beef. So it's all a little bit longer. I didn't take the time to, to chop it more finely, but that's what we're using. Okay. We're just using some Mrs. Dash Chipotle Southwest. It's salt free. I added my own salt because I kind of like my salt, the way I roll. And I also took some lime and I squeezed it over the meat and let it marinate for a little bit before we started cooking it. Uh, once we're done with the beef, which I think is just about done, I'm gonna slice up some, some pork here and I'm gonna do probably the same thing with that as well. We've got our pork going here. Up nicely. So we're gonna be topping off with, we got some sour cream, guacamole. And again, guacamole is something I usually make myself. I've got some avocados back here. I just like eating them as a snack. But I also really like making my own guacamole. But for one avocado out here, is over three dollars a piece. And back in the states, again, you can usually get them for seventy cents, something like that. Um, salsa, I like making my own pico de gallo as well. But again, everything is very, very expensive. There are times where you want to heat your tortillas. A lot of times, yeah. So if you heat them, make sure you heat them. Put a little gold into them. Uh, it depends on how you like it. I like my tortillas really soft and without really any heat to them because the meat. Sometimes though, for everyone else that may not like that, put them on a scant or a skillet pan yeah. and heat them up to a nice golden brown. Use the grease that's already in there from the pork and from the beef. It'll work just fine. If you find that it's drying it out a little bit too much, put a little butter in there or put a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. It works fantastic as well. Awesome. Let's get them plated up. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna load up my. Barreto, I'm gonna start with some cilantro lime sauce, or rice, not sauce. I'm 
I'm not a bean guy. Are you a bean guy? Do you like beans? I like beans, but I don't really need them either. Yeah, so I, I'm not a fan of beans at all. So I didn't buy any. Take just a little bit of the steak here. Get down some delicious strips as we dance around each other. So Blanca. Loaded mine up just a little bit more. Probably should. But it's a it looks delicious. Closest to Chipotle as you're gonna get in Korea. That's alright. Drop some sour cream juice on there. <laughs> Not sure that she would care, but thank you. Alright, let's go in for this for this wrap. Oh no, there's, there's no way this is gonna wrap. I'm telling you right now, if yours doesn't wrap, I have a freaking <laughs> chance to wrap. Hey, but, it looks like a burrito. <laughs> Sometimes you go in a little too zealously with your burrito and you can't actually wrap it. Let's go for that big bite. Describe your emotions right now. Joy. Joy? Yes, and happiness. I feel if you stuck around to the end of the video, thank you so much, guys. That's gonna do it for us for today. If there's any other military-focused content that you guys would like to see, please drop it in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support as I'm learning, growing, and developing this channel. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time.